Hey, what's up guys? It's Brando with Brando Sports World here, and today we're doing team number 18 of my top 50 college football teams of the 2023 season. Today's team is the Oklahoma Sooners out of the Big 12 Conference. Their head coach is Brett Venables. After his very first year as a head coach and his very first year as the head coach at Oklahoma, he has gone 6-7 and seven overall. Oklahoma started their season strong, going 3-0. and They then lost their next three to Kansas State, TCU, and a shutout loss to their rivals, Texas. Now, Brent is a great defensive coordinator, but is he really ready to be a head coach? The better question is, can he really slow down the Big 12 offenses? Hey, guys, please like the video. Definitely subscribe to the channel as I'll have some great content covering Oklahoma and some other Big 12 teams. And I'm going to continue counting down to the number one team of this 2023 season. So ultimately, they ended up losing seven games overall. The good news is, five of them losses were by one score or less. The O-line will be a strength this year for this team, and that'll give a good chance for young running backs Javante Barnes and Gavin Sawchuk a chance to shine. Dylan Gabriel is back, and he has a bunch of weapons around him, and he's ready to show why he was the Big 12 Newcomer of the Year this last year. Lastly, if this defense improves, this is at least an 8-plus win team this year. They have to get their opponents to score less points because they gave up 40 plus points in five games last year. Week number one is a game against the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Arkansas State is a solid team out of their conference, but they have no business playing up against Oklahoma or at that level. You guys win this one 42 to 17 to open your season strong. Week number two, it's a game against the SMU Mustangs. SMU will have a decent offense, but their defense is not very good at all. And I think you're going to show incredible improvements on defense this year with Brent Venables as the head coach. He's going to make that a priority. And you guys win this one 41 to 17. It's week number three here, and you are going at Tulsa. Tulsa is not a very good team for the most part. I did just a little bit of research on them, but I still know enough about you guys that you are absolutely the superior team, both offensively, defensively, and on special teams. You guys beat these guys 42 to 10. Week number four, it's a game against Cincinnati, the Bearcats. They just lost their head coach in Luke Fickle, but don't get it twisted here, guys. They still have players all over that team. The defense is going to be their strength, and they're looking to continue to improve on offense. But having a new head coach, they will find issues from time to time, and they will have growing pains. For that reason, I have you guys winning this one 38 to 35. Week number five, it's a game against the Iowa State Cyclones out of Ames, Iowa. There's way too many issues going on this offseason for Iowa State. And Matt Campbell is going to find himself in a little bit of trouble because I think they absolutely struggle this year. You guys are the far superior team, and your offense really shows up. And honestly, your defense is going to slow them down tremendously. You guys win this one 35-17. to 17. This next game is the game everyone wants to know about. It's a game against Texas. Right now, you... Right now, you guys are currently undefeated and looking to continue that streak. You end up getting blown out, and it was an absolute blowout, 49-0. to zero. It's going to be tough to show up after having a beatdown like that, but you guys do. You show up. Guys, I think this is going to come down to the wire. Let's be honest here. Both teams have tremendous talent. It's just going to come down to coaching, and I think Steve Sarkeesian is more of the proven coach at this time. He's had plenty of experience, and they have tremendous depth over there, like I said. Their offense is going to show out this year. And guys, I have them barely winning this one 38-31. to 31. It's close all the way down to the wire. This is going to come down to a last-minute touchdown, and I think Texas gets that touchdown, winning 38-31. to 31. Now, it's just the first loss of the season, and this next one is another opportunity to continue moving in the right direction. It's a game against the UCF Knights. Guys, Gus Malzahn is a good coach, but he has not found the same type of success that other coaches have had there. I think they're going to do some good things, but I think Brent Venables is going to turn this one around, especially after that recent loss against Texas, and they're going to look to continue moving forward. They do just that, and they win this one 35-24. to Week number eight. Guys, this is going to go up against a very tough Kansas team, and it sounds crazy to absolutely say that. Lance Leipold is an incredible coach over there, and they're going to be looking to do some really good things. They had started the season extremely strong, but towards the end of the season, they ended up falling flat. They almost won their bowl game and scored a ton of points, but they really need to work on their defense. Now, I think they do have some good defensive improvements, but the strength of this team is the offense with their quarterback and running back. They're both very dynamic. The quarterback's name is Daniels. The running back's name escapes me at the moment, but I know that he's very talented. Guys, I think you guys are still moving in the right direction. But you are going to have a growing pain from time to time, still with Brent Venables on his second year. Guys, you barely lose this one 35-32 in a high-scoring game. 
Now this next week is a tough game against Mike Gundy. You know he's going to be ready to rock and roll with the Oklahoma State Cowboys, and he usually has that season every once in a while, every two to three seasons where they just show up and show out, and this is going to be that type of season for him. This is going to be a bad time to catch them after just losing to Kansas in that type of trap game, but this could arguably be a trap game too. If you beat Kansas, this would definitely be the trap game. This is the way in Stillwater. Now, I think that you guys are a little bit more talented, and Mike Gundy is just a really good coach. I'm not going to lie. I mean, he has done some really good things over his entire tenure there, and he's been there for a long time. Just look at his track record. I know he's had a lot much more, or a lot more success than he's had in failures. I think he's only had like one losing season that whole time frame too. You have to fact check that one. Now, I think you lose this one. It's going to be so close, guys, and I hate to say that because you guys are the Oklahoma Sooners. You're the cream of the crop of college football, but you're still moving in the right direction. You lose this one 35 to 32 in a heartbreaker. Week number 10, we're looking to get some things back on track here against the West Virginia Mountaineers. And you do just that. You had a couple growing pains, a little bump in the road. That's all it was. You win this one 42 to 28. Your defense kind of lets up some points, but guess what? Your offense shows up and shows out. Week number 11, you're still 7-3, and three, which is already way better than last year. Guys, you go up against BYU. Now, this is going to be a way at BYU, and I, if you've seen any of my other videos, I am very, very high on BYU. Now, am I as high on them as I am you guys? No. And this looks like the type of game that could be another type of trap game, depending upon if you won that game against Oklahoma State or West Virginia. You should easily handle your business there. But this is the type of game that just is nestled in there that could cause a bit of a problem. I think they're very strong, defensive-minded, and they are going to be physical. But you guys have the proven depth at this point, and it's week number 11. You start really kind of figuring some things out here, and you win this one 35-28. Week number 12, you're 8-3 and three on the season, and now you're looking to win nine games. But you come up against a very tough team here in week 12 against the TCU Horned Frogs. TCU was just in that national championship game. They lose a little bit on offense, and their defense really does need some more work, but they're still solid on the defensive side. However, I think you guys are really starting to click and figure some things out here heading into week number 12. And granted, you had a, a slip up earlier and a couple bumps in the road, but you guys handle your business here, and you beat a TCU team who is nothing compared to how they were last year, and you end up beating a TCU team who is just not quite as good as they were last year, and I think you guys just barely edge these guys out, and you win this one 41-35. to so guys, I have you sitting at nine and three, which I think is actually quite awesome. You know, he went six and seven in his very first year, which a lot of people weren't very happy about. They ended up losing that game, uh, the bowl game against Florida State. If they would have won that, it would have been on the positive side being seven and six. But guys, he is still a really good coach and you're very lucky to have him. I sincerely hope it works out because when Oklahoma is good at football, the rest of the college football world is much better place. So with that being said, I really appreciate you guys so much for tuning in my videos. Like the video, certainly subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more great content coming out for you guys and I'm looking forward to see how the season ends up. As always, I'll see you guys on the next video.